Today I will show you my personal best beauty finds of 2023. I am a passionate beauty lover. I love when I find a product that really works, that's very beautifying or that's very unique. It makes me feel excited because it makes me feel good about myself when I feel beautiful. And I've always loved sharing that with my friends and telling them which product they had to try. And now I'm doing this on YouTube. So friends, let's get started. Hi guys, what's up? My name is Nadia Hartz. Welcome to my channel. So I will start with skincare and then I'll move over to makeup. And in the very end of the video, I will tell you which product I would choose if I had to pick one. FYI, I have medium tone skin. My skin is common combination to normal and my skin is also not very sensitive. So we're going to start with the most expensive product of the day, which is the Omnilux LED Light Mask. LED light masks have been around for a while and they have, have been scientifically proven to have a lot of benefits on our skin health, such as decreased inflammation or increased collagen production. And healthy skin is what we all want, if it's for superficial reasons or any other reason. So being totally honest, I've only been using this mask for about six weeks, but so far I really, really like it. It. Right after I take it off, I can definitely see that all the redness that I have on my skin is much less. My skin looks less irritated. My skin tone looks very even. And after using this for a couple of weeks, I saw definitely a difference in the plumpness of my skin and also reduction of fine lines. I would definitely recommend you buy this mask if you are looking for an at-home device, an LED mask, and you are ready to spend some money. This is really good. The only downside for me being honest is adding yet another step to my skincare routine, but I guess we gotta do what we gotta do because it really works. And also being honest, I kind of like looking like a Power Ranger when I wear it. I think it's funny. A skin cleanser that I absolutely had to try this year is the one from Lisa Aldrich, the Skin Enhancing Treatment Cleanser. I really like this. I think it's a very interesting product because it's a mask and a cleanser as well. For me in the evening, using this as a cleanser wouldn't be enough if I'm wearing a lot of makeup, but let's say I want to prep my skin for like putting on makeup or after I've applied sunscreen and take this off, this is a really good product for that. It doesn't make your skin look, feel very stripped after you used it. it. Your skin feels very moisturized and if you have time to leave it on for like five or 10 minutes, it's even better. The reason why I wanted to try this product because I love Alisa Eldridge. To me, she has such, so much integrity, also knowledge. So I was very curious to see what this treatment cleanser will be like. And it's a very interesting product and I think it's worth the price because a little goes a very long way. For my night cream, I I love the Revive Renewal Moisturizing Cream. It's such a good night cream in my opinion. It gently exfoliates the skin at night because it contains the glycolic acid. And when you wake up in the morning, your skin feels exfoliated, it feels moisturized. It helps definitely with clogged pores. It helps with fine lines. It's not greasy in texture. It's not a very thick, heavy cream. I can definitely see a difference the way my makeup sits on my skin. I can also see a difference when I haven't been using this for a couple of days. So it kind of gets you hooked. I really, really love this cream and I recommend this to all my girlfriends. Honestly, in a way, I feel like this is a bit of a I don't want to say gatekept product because I know Revive has been around for a long time, but it was never a hyped product like Augustino Spada or Dr. Barbara Sturm. Maybe because it doesn't have a German sounding name, I don't know. <laughs> but this night cream, in my opinion, is one of the best around and I really, really love it. Next, we have a day cream, which is the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Marine Cream. I love this day cream. It's very moisturizing, hydrating. It's not greasy. The skin feels very like plump after you use it. It doesn't leave any film on the skin. It's beautiful as a makeup base, in my opinion. I love the smell. It has like a very slight like rose smell, but nothing artificial. And in my humble opinion, it's way better than the Tatcha moisturizers that I bought into the hype. They're all right, they're nice, but in my opinion, this one is way, way better. It also comes in several sizes. So if you're not sure if you like this, just get the small size and try if this is for you. But I definitely recommend at least try. The next product that I want to show you is the Revive Renewal Eye Serum. I don't play when it comes to my under eye area or eye area in general. The skin in this area is very thin, as you know. I try everything I can to support this area, basically. This serum is, in my opinion, can also function as an eye cream. It has a gel-like consistency. It's very lightweight. I can absolutely see a difference when I'm using this. I use it obviously on my lower eyelids and also on my upper eyelids, which I recommend also you do if you do not already. It definitely feels like my skin feels tighter, honestly. after. 
I'd say two weeks or so, my skin feels tighter. I also recommend this to all my friends. This is such an amazing eye cream. If you have not very mature skin or if you have oily skin, in my opinion, this is totally sufficient as an eye cream. Next, I do have a German sounding brand, which is the Augustinus Bada The Eye Cream. It's actually a really, really good eye cream. It's a proper cream. It's very lightweight also in texture, but not like a gel, like the Revif one. It really moisturizes the, the eye area. It's also really non-irritating at all when you want to use it on your upper eyelids. I really love this. And if you want to go extra, I'd also recommend getting this one. If you choose to splurge and get this one, I definitely recommend you, you get the Nomad. That's what it's called. So it's basically the travel packaging and not the real packaging. And the repackaging just costs extra. And it's basically just a blue egg around this bullet. So I honestly don't see the point. So I would just get the travel one. You save money and also nobody needs that, to be honest. A concealer I discovered this year that I really love is the Huda Beauty Fall Filter Concealer. I like it a lot because it's very, very, very high coverage. It doesn't dry out to a cakey texture. I have the color Vanilla Swirl, which I use for, for the under eye area. I love this color. I think it's a very good youthful color in a way because it brightens and warms up the under eye area well on my skin tone and for me it does that. And a little goes a very, very long way with this product. I usually wear the NARS Radiant one, which I also still love, but sometimes I like to switch it up. If you like high coverage concealer, you really wanna give this a shot. By the way, if you like this video so far, you could let me know by giving me a thumbs up and also subscribing to my channel. The next product that I think are very good to have in your makeup kit are the Hindish Color Fluids. My favorite color is Cave, which is the medium toned one. It's not a beginner product. It's a liquid and you can use it basically all over the face. And I use it for contouring of small areas. This color mimics shadow, in my opinion, very well. So I really like it. I will also use it on the upper eyelids if I want to do like a very quick eye makeup something but I mostly use it for contouring. But like I said, it's a liquid and it dries down very quickly and then it doesn't move, <laughs> then it's over. And if you are not very new to doing makeup, this is really a good product to have. A contour stick I discovered this year that I really love is from, from Kevin O'Quan, the contour stick in the color Chiseled. It's in my opinion, a very good contour color if you have a similar complexion to mine because it's quite cool toned. It doesn't have a lot of orange undertones. It's not too light. It's very easy in the application, in my opinion. You can either apply it straight from the bullet or with a brush. And I also like the packaging. Like I'm usually not interested a lot in packaging, being honest, but this is cool because it has this magnet, this tiny magnet inside, and it's a very satisfying thing to do, in my opinion, to close it. For powders, I will show you probably not something new, which it's a very high product. It's the Givenchy Loose Powder, but it's very well deserved. So this is a fantastic powder and I have several colors because I do too much, basically. <laughs> I use them for different areas of my face and I also like mixing them, but I would definitely recommend for you to get the color number three to use it for the under eye area. It has pink undertones and the pink undertones really make the under eye area very fresh and very friendly in a way. It's also quite easy to use. This is not important, but I love the smell of this product. It's not heavily scented like the Huda one, like the Huda Beauty uh, powder. And if you are somebody that says, I do not like powders, then this is your powder because it's not very powdery. If you apply a thin layer, your skin doesn't look like you are wearing powder or a lot of powder. In a way, it just makes your skin look more beautiful. It makes your skin like you're wearing a filter or something. So I definitely recommend you try this one if you haven't already. Another powder that I really like is the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I have the travel size, which actually is ridiculously expensive when you consider the amount of product that you get for the price. But it's like a poly pocket kind of powder to me. I bought it really to have it in my purse and I have a proper size one. I use the color too and this is a very mattifying powder. Like it doesn't have any light reflecting particles like the Givenchy one. This is a proper matte powder but it still has a very natural finish to it. It doesn't look chalky if that makes sense. And this is so cute to me. I know. A blush that I fell in love this year is from the brand Hermes and the color that I love is called Rose Feuille. By the way, I'm gonna link all the products that I use in the description box, including the colors that I chose. This blush, in my opinion, is a very, very, very nice color. It's very healthy looking and on me. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I'm not an expert on swatching, but it's a very beautiful color. And also again here, I love the smell of this. It has a very 
delicate smell and people sometimes like to describe fragrances that as like that they smell expensive to me this blush smells very expensive it is very expensive but it also smells very expensive I love it. For eyeshadows, this is not a new release, I am aware. It's a Natasha Denona Glam Palette, but I discovered it this year, so it's my best beauty find of 2023. I love this palette. I think it's a really good palette. If you ha have similar tones to mine, or if you are looking for a palette that is rather cool toned, that has mattes in it, shimmers in it, these are the colors. I think they're really good. My palette looks a bit messy. It just proves that I use it. The texture of the eyeshadows is very nice. They're very blendable, very rich in color, very long-lasting. I love the shimmers also of this palette. I was looking at the I Need a Nude palette um, from Natasha Denona that was released actually this year. It's nice, obviously, but the matte colors are a bit too light for me. They will probably disappear on my skin. So I actually really prefer this one. I didn't get the other one. And in my opinion, I use this palette much more often than the Makeup by Mario palette, which are nice. They are very good as well. But if you have to choose one, I would definitely get this one. Moving on to lip products. I couldn't choose only one. I choose five. I hope you're okay with that. My favorite product of the lip products is actually by far not the most expensive one. It's the lip liner from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Deep Taupe. I love it because first of all, this is in my opinion the perfect color it's honestly perfect i don't know what else to say it's the perfect like nude ish it has like pink undertones that our lips naturally have it's not too pink it's really perfect and i also like the texture of the pencil itself and i also really like that the itself is square and not round because it sits better in the hand when you apply it on your lips i really love this in my opinion it's the perfect color because it's cool but not too cool it has like rose undertones to it it's very very nice i'm wearing this right now i mean not only this obviously two lip glasses i want to show you that are also a bit extra because they're very expensive but i still want to show you are the hermes lip glosses i'm going to link the colors down below this one is very corally orange and this is like a rose top top rose something like that they're not as high coverage as they appear in the bottle really like a really beautiful gloss and sometimes when i would just want to freshen up I will use this orangey color because the way my lips look without any color on it and this one mixed on top just makes a very beautiful, natural, healthy lip color in my opinion. So this is a very nice product, but it is a bit luxe. The next product that I really love is from MAC, the lipstick in the color Sheer Outrage. It's a very corally kind of color and it might look a bit bright if, if you look like it on my hand, this one, this color here. but. I'll just dab it on my lip and again this is a very healthy beautiful color in my opinion and I can see this on the complexion of a lot of women looking really fantastic. The last lip product that I want to show you is from Makeup by Mario and the color is Bronze Glow and it is just like a lip treatment lip balm but it is tinted and it has these ingredients that makes your lip tingle, that the, that the blood circulation in, improves on your lips so they appear a bit fuller. This is a very, very pretty color as well, in my opinion. And I was very surprised. And it's not like an aggressive tingle like that you get from something like the Too Faced lip gloss or something. It's not like that at all. So this is also a really interesting lip balm. For mascara, another very high product and again, also very well deserved so is the Yves Saint Laurent Lash Clash Mascara. It's a fantastic mascara. If you haven't tried it already, you got to try it in my opinion. It's just a really great mascara. I don't have a lot to say about that. I'm always up for trying something new and finding something better, but so far this takes the cake. And last but not least, I found this thing from Jo Malone. I think you're supposed to put it in like that in the car, at least that's what I do. And I chose the smell English Pier and Freesia, which I love. It smells so fresh and so clean to me. I really like when my car smells nice. Being honest, I know this is a bit extra, but at least I'm on brand and consistent with the things, right? I think it's nice when the car smells really nice. Yes? And it's not like some dangling, what are these things called that you have in the car that give off smell, these trees? Anyway, it's not like that because they can sometimes smell like a toilet refresher or something. So this is not like that. It's a very elegant fragrance. So like promised, finishing up with a product that I would choose if I had to pick one, which is the Revive Moisturizing Renewal Cream. This is a one-step skin regime, in my opinion, if you ask me. Like you apply this 
you don't necessarily need a serum or oil or something this is a very 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 good night cream and i really recommend you trying it so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video i would really like to know your personal best beauty finds of 2023 and also if you tried any of the products that i recommended i would love to hear your feedback on that so until then i'll see you in my next video bye